Okay, this was a newer model chair, so I um, just want to mention that I didn't, I was able to reach into the bottom to kind of unclip the, the top portion and there were no two screws I needed to do, so I um, just want to mention that. Um, hopefully the insides are going to be the same. This, this is slightly different. This newer model doesn't have that uh, pin that I, I had to fix before. This one's got a little uh, insert in there, so this looks like it's going to be a little bit stronger, but I think the tilt mechanism is going to be the same. So, um, right now it is set to... The, the tilt lever is set all the way down. I can show you that. All the way down. And so this is kind of how it functions. You can see that, let's see if I can pull it. You can kind of see where this thing kind of goes down and it just kind of can go all the way down in there. Okay, that was tilting the back. Now, I'm gonna take the tilt lever and I'm gonna tilt it all the way to the top. And you can see that that spins. Here, I'll do it slow. You can see that, I'll just show you right here, tilt that lever all the way to the top. And now when I pull in the back, see it won't tilt at all. That, 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 um, this gear right here is blocking it. Now if I was to tilt, put the tilt lever down about halfway, that spins and now it tilts back probably about four inches. Let's go down a little bit farther. Now it tilts back maybe, I don't know, eight inches or something and then I can go back and it's going to tilt even further back and then um, of course this is all the way full tilt all the way back let's start to lift up the chair I should have loosened up the tension a little bit more but anyways again this is where I uh, put the lever all the way to the top and then it's you know it just kind of holds it and it will not allow it to tilt back hope that's what you need um I'll go ahead and upload this